Well, the fabulous Marilyn May performing at the Hollywood Palace, that was in 1967. While she is at the peak of a remarkable career at 91, she's returning to the Twin Cities for six shows at Crooners and Friendly Fridley beginning tonight. And it is our pleasure to welcome Marilyn May, whom the late Johnny Carson called his favorite singer. Actually, you know what he did? We asked him to do liner notes for, I think, my fifth album on RCA. And he said, well, I don't do liner notes. He said, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll say, Marilyn, I call Marilyn May super singer. Super singer. And he said, those are my liner notes. And, uh, Ella and I said, who can ask for anything more? <laughs> and, well, you couldn't. And then Ella Fitzgerald uh, Ella was, said Ella that you were the best me. white singer. Well, they, that was out of context. You yeah. know, they, when they would ask Ella, who are your favorite singers? She said, well, I love Sassy, which was Sarah Vaughan. I love, uh, um, you know, and he, he, would, he would name several of, his, of, the, of the black singers that, that she loved. And then she said, and the greatest white singer is Marilyn May. <laughs> so <laughs> that was lovely. But, you know, once you take it out, of, it put it in the right context. We're looking at it. There's a clip oh, from uh, Johnny Carson. How many times were you on that show? 76. The most of any singer. It was the record of for singers. For oh girl my singers. gosh! There are comedians that have done it more, but but the girl singers. Uh, How do you reflect on that experience? Uh, mm. It was wonderful. They they were so good to me. Well, first of all, he was so wonderful because we would talk. You know, he would talk to the guests like this. But when I sang, he would completely turn his body and face me and stay there the whole time mm. rather than continuing talking during during my song, and say wonderful things. He said more complimentary things after the song than my mother would have said, you know. But, uh, but also the show, you know, they took very good care of you. The, the, we did a great rehearsal and, and of course the band was so great. Doc Severinsen was so wonderful. And they would, uh, you know, they studied you when you did the rehearsal. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, now I'll probably move forward on this. And the cameras would just back right up and move, move with me. So it was wonderful. You have had this amazing career here now in your early 90s here. This started when you were a child. I did. I was 10, I think, was my first radio show. <laughs> and you work like somebody half your age with all these different well, I can't. I have. can't cook, Pat. So, so, <laughs> so I'm singing as fast as I can. That's the main thing. And I'm very fortunate because I have wonderful clubs like Crooners. This wonderful club here that you have in Minneapolis. It is wonderful, isn't very it? Very proud of this yeah. room. And um, so I, I, I'm, I'm just. I'm, I love it. In New York, there's. There, I work. Uh, we're going in October to 54 Below, and in in October, and then we go to uh, the Purple Room in Palm Springs in November. And in December, we wind up um, in Oklahoma someplace <laughs> at a university in Oklahoma. Then New Year's Eve, we're at Birdland and five more days. And then we come back to the Purple Room in March. All it's, in this a few months' time. So let's talk as we say goodbye to you, our time so short today, so unfortunately. Oh, I have uh, so we, much to say. We have, I, I know you do, and we have, so we'd love to hear everything. We have people watching who say, how does she do it? To what do you owe this? Um, Great career, you push, this longevity. you push, and I'm I'm blessed. I'm very very blessed. My voice is there, it is. and I love the audience. I love the people that I work for. I'm you know Mary T. This girl at Crooner, she's just mm -hmm. this woman who is very active too, and it's lovely to sing. But I sing to the audience, not for them. We entertain. And uh, the Great American Songbook, it doesn't get any better than that. I have had the pleasure, Pat. and I will again want, uh, this coming weekend uh, experience you. Thank you. Thank you for making time I'm for so us. I'm so pleased to be here in this beautiful studio. Opening, Thank you. Well, we're pleased to have you here. <laughs> Opening night, six shows. Tonight. I think I know. We're doing tonight. Sunday. We're doing Sunday at All the way 6 o'clock. They added a show now. We did. We well, did. here we go. Uh, <laughs> more information about Marilyn May's shows coming up on the Care 11 app as seen on TV on care11.com.